Hello guys and welcome to a new Steel Division video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you another live gameplay. Today we're going to be playing on Omaha and it's going to be a 4 versus 4. In this one I'm using the Demi Brigade SAS and I'm joined today on my team by Lau, Jen Jeft and Drunken King who are going to be using the 4th Armoured, Guards Armoured and 1st SSB. On the active side we see Gustav the second, Holy Grail, Aurora, and Arrowsman, who are playing with the second Panzer, first on Gross Palace, ninth Panzer, and the first SS Panzer. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying all of these live gameplays. Um, let me know what you think about them in the comments, and if you'd like to see more of them, uh, because I have been doing an awful lot. Um, I hope to potentially be bringing more competitive content in the future, but I've just got to really nail down what kind of competitive content I want to cover because there are a lot of different tournaments and a lot of like different matches that I could probably choose from, but I want it to be like a co coherent kind of thing. I don't want to just be picking uh, sort of matches here and there uh, from different tournaments. I'd like to cover a tournament in, in as a whole. So I've really got to identify where I want to go with that. And there is the potential that there isn't really anything that suits that for the channel at the moment. Um, the other thing is uh, post-game commentary. So if you guys prefer a more analytical commentary rather than me trying to focus on the game and give commentary at the same time, if you guys like to see that, then of course let me know. I'm also thinking of uh, going back to the campaign to do um, some gameplay of the campaign now that a lot of changes have been made. Uh, the, the campaigns are the same, it's just that since the balancing patches and all so sorts of stuff like that, um, a lot of the units that are available and the units that you use in those campaigns are different um, in terms of their statistics and their availability. So I, I would like to have a look into that and, and see if they are harder or, or easier than they used to be. And also it gives a more realistic expectation for those who want to go to my channel in order to watch the campaign rather than uh, play it themselves if they haven't. But enough about that, we actually need to put down some forces. So uh, what am I going to do? <laughs> Looks like I'm just worried if I'm AFK. Um, probably just whack down the B1 early on. That will be useful at close range. Probably going to bring in some partisans. A little bit worried about where I'm going to put all of these forces because it seems as though my teammates are kind of tucking me in nicely here. We will have to uh, wait and see. I'm just going to get past the sands to each of these roads. We're going to put past the sands on the right side as well. See how far we can get them up. Then I'm going to make sure to bring in some saboteurs. and speed this up a little bit. I'm just going to act as recon on the right side. Um, then we need to get some rallies in. These will be good for that orchard for sure. I'll also have another unit go for this area over here. That's it. Then I need another unit for the left side. I'm going to have all of these half tracks just because they're really useful for these sort of close range environments where you can attack infantry um, with those half tracks without being in line of sight of other troops. I'm going to try and get an AT gun into here to cover that road. And then we'll bring in some command to go with all of that. We need some command for the right side as well. Not going to have the fastest start for my units but it's better than nothing let's go for a, a mortar or two as well those mortars will help me make some ground uh, by use of smoke for the most part now the other thing that we can focus on in this close range environment is the panards the panards can be very very good Especially if our opponents focus on half tracks, uh, things like the second Panzer, for example, they have a lot of half tracks, so you can take those out at close range. They also have a lot of use of things like 250 10s, and um, then if we're up against like Festung, it's more just infantry base. But then our half tracks will get the better of them, so we won't need the Panards. Um, 
if we're looking at the ninth panzer that could be quite scary in this kind of environment because the looks can do a lot of damage if we're not too careful <laughs> those heart tracks it feels like i have germans on my left says chen just <laughs> All right, let's uh, unload the Jedbur. Put the partisans in position for if they want to push on us, which I don't think they're going to. But uh, if my B1 gets into position, we can do a lot of damage. So we are up against the Festung by the looks of things. Uh, I'm going to try and make a bit of a push across the uh, right side here because this is where the half-tracks can really do well. I think I'm going to move the saboteurs a bit further up. Uh, meanwhile, on the right side, it looks like there's just been a push through. Okay. Bring in an AT gun for the main road, I guess. Oh, the Bogvard. <laughs> going to blow up that sexton. Yeah, it was a double push on the right side. Going to hopefully be able to recover from that. I haven't actually seen those used in a while, but hopefully we can get on target here. There we go. I was just suiciding into a pack 38 while I wasn't looking. That was uh, not very clever. But at least I can get my shots off. Alright, we just gotta kind of prepare our flanks here a little bit. Could get rather scary. Mm, shit. That keeps coming. Should be able to get the better of it. Okay, that's one dealt with. That's a weapon jam. That's uh, good enough. Let's move the rallies up. We need to try and take advantage of this room in the middle that we have. Get this pack to move up. I'm going to get the mortar into cover. That's important. See if we can surrender those guys. Let's unload this. Uh, this is not good. All those Stuarts are in a really nice position actually, so I can probably push this in here. Nice. We took out one. Just need to take out another. Uh, let's let that fire. There we go. Hands are two down. Uh, we took out the 250 tent. Nice. Uh, let's push forwards aggressively here. Okay, just need to uh, make sure that we bring in some rallies. Push back that right side. It's not the end of the world. Uh, we're in a decent position if we can continue to make ground on the left. Because if we start picking off all of these Panzer twos and stuff, the pa the Ninth Panzer can get really, really weak in this position. So, what I'm actually going to do is bring in that Jagd Panzer. I was considering it before, but I think I'm at, I'm definitely going to do it now. Alright, let's continue forwards here. Just need to get aggressive with this half track if I can. I might just attack me of these and use their gren grenade on that lander Schutzen. Uh, I'm going to have to be careful here. Let's uh, have one go in the building. And one go into the tree line. It's fine. Uh, these guys need to, to take cover. Never mind, they got surrendered. It's fine. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like... That mortar's getting the better of my Panzer Shreks. 
Let's well, try and move forwards there. There's no recon, so... Well, no, no, no command, sorry. Oh, there was uh, an AT gun, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there goes that useful half-drag that I had. <laughs> let's uh, bring my other one over here. That's fine. Uh, let's smoke off. And then we can use the grenade. Oh, off map. Okay. Didn't expect that. My half track might end up dying here if I'm not too careful. I didn't think it was in that position. Alright, let's take a attack move to the left side. Maybe I'll get in range. Attack move towards that. My rallies ended up moving back there. My half track on the left did end up dying, which is unfortunate. I move away from this if I can. It's fine. Oh, the saboteurs! They took out the looks with their grenade. <laughs> Fair enough. And uh, my Jedbo, I think, cleaned up the Lamp Panzer, so that's good. We're definitely helping secure that right flank. I'd just like to clean up that Panzer IV if I can. That's the second Panzer. And if we're holding back two people on the right side, um, then we should be making ground elsewhere. If we're not, then something's going wrong. Maybe Alao just hasn't built up enough Hellcats yet, <laughs> or something like that. Regardless, we should bring in uh, the Hotchkiss here. That is fine. We can take that building. Uh, we can continue pushing forwards with the rallies. Bring in some more saboteurs. Should we move these back and kill that with the pans of, uh, the Faust Patron? I didn't see that earlier. Definitely could have taken advantage of that. Let's uh, move these guys forwards and these guys forwards as well. To do with another half track or something here. Let's bring in the panard. The panard might be useful enough. If I jump in this building, then I might be able to just jump across quick, which will help pin down that AT gun or whatever it is. Alright, we found whatever this is, Lander Schutzen. They are now dead. Bring in some more rallies. The dead bear here. I might even bring in another Panard. Just so I can break through. Panzer IV is fine there. Start moving up this road a bit more. What he's trying to shoot at on the right side. That needs an AT gun, if anything. Right, let's continue to just move up the road with the rallies. Okay, that's going to be a Panzer Shrek. Needs to be taken out at some point. Double Beverongs, there's some saboteurs there. Move that into there. Unload. Panzer two looks went down. Panzer one's nearly surrounded. Okay, we're now into phase B. We can get Chasseur Pala to kind of help us out, maybe. I think the main thing that I do need is just like a pa Panzer III would actually not be a bad idea and then we can bring in the Chasseur Pala to try and make some ground. These guys need to move and sort of maybe move up towards this half track.
Okay, took out another half track there, that's great. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm going to get away with surrendering those straight away. What I might be able to do is use the Panard aggressively. They might have an AT gun or maybe a Panzer Shrek. Could suck. If they don't, then that's good. Um, I can actually run down this mortar as well. Okay, that's fine. Let's continue. I'm actually just going to come around the... Ooh, let's just uh, fast move away from that. That's a, uh, a stuck I do not want to deal with. That's for sure. That bombing strike, though. <laughs> well. <laughs> Move away from that engagement with AT guns. Oh, wow, the engine destroyed. God damn it. <laughs> what a joke. We'll try and save it if we can, but it might die. And we got it. It's, it should be... Well, I say that. The smoke round didn't go where I wanted it to. Oh, and neither did that one. Okay, that one's fine. Oh, here we go. Go on. Get that grenade off. Oh, they, did they miss it? Oh, they missed it. God damn it. <laughs> it could have been so good. Right, the Chasseur Palo, they do have smoke, so I will be able to use that to make ground. Panzer 2 looks gets taken out at that range, that's incredible. Alright, let's uh, try and get into position here. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get this truck into position. If I'm completely honest. Oh, my chasseur had I got surrendered. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Wasn't quite what I had planned. Maybe we could just use the SES Grouper FM to, like, open up the engagement. Mm. Yeah, that smoke's gone now. Time for that to leave. What I'll do is I'll use that DMA to pick up the Pack 38 and I'll drive that forwards. Huh, this is difficult because Ginger really needs to like take back this ground on the right without my support, but for now he can't do that, so it's 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 difficult, really difficult. And the Willys MMG might get the better of the Panzer II looks. That would be quite something. Okay, unless it stops firing. Oh, I think it probably showed front armor and uh, you can't affect the front armor there. Unfortunately. But yeah, we need to take care of this sooner than later. Weapon jam's fine. Oh, nice tank busters might get the job done. Okay, of course they won't. It's a peer. <laughs> will they hit with the second? <laughs> yes, they will. Okay. There we go. We got a lot of points here. Oh, off map. Why didn't I think of that sooner? Would have been a great idea. We also need something to take care of this Stug. So I'm going to bring in a pack 40 and we will bring in a couple of chasseur pala to follow up okay let's hit my jagd panzer again apparently that's causing them issues 
I'm going to send some SAS Gripper FM up this road, I think. I'm saying that, there's no point if the off map can see us. Okay, there we go. They're revealing themselves, which is what I wanted. Just make sure they don't die. Oh, that's the bomber. Sometimes. Didn't actually do as much as I thought it would. <laughs> I thought I was just going to wreck all of my SAS grouper and so on, but they, they're, they're alive. Which is good. I probably need the saboteurs to actually move forwards. They need to maintain line of sight onto these units. I do have the off map I could use. I don't know if I want to <laughs> now that I'm in this position. Because the only unit I have to deal with is the Panzergrams. I guess there's more there than... Yeah, I think it's worth at least one strike. Let's just have these fall back. Well, he's actually falling back now, which is not quite what I had planned. Just unload that and in fact move it up. And the idea being here is I'm going to use the panard afterwards. I fucking saw that coming as well. Unfortunately, couldn't get out of the way in time. All I needed was one off map strike. Unless that ME109 or Fuck Wolf gets the job done. What the fuck was that? I don't know. But, uh, the nice use of the aircraft there from my opponent. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, that was a very odd strike that just occurred. Although we will find line of sight here soon, I don't think I'm going to utilize it just yet. They didn't get a smoke off, that sucks. <laughs> when the pack 40 lets you down boys <laughs> that, that really sucked <laughs> bring the partisans up there need to throw smoke just there get into these buildings if we can wow get our own anti air There we go, partisans, nicely done. Get the chassis of Palo into position, and then they should be absolutely doomed. Panzer 3. Oh, that's not good. Panzer Vernichtungs, just in the right place, of course. Right, we're now into phase C, which means it's M4A 376 time. And uh, we can definitely make some ground with those. I think I'm going to allow the uh, Panzer Vernichtungs to get pretty close here. Then I can just rip them a new one. Okay. <laughs> Here comes the bombing strike. My Panzer three is dead. Oh yeah, that died to the Panzer Vinicht, didn't it? That's a shame. Oh, these guys need to fall back. What are they doing? 
Let's bring in an M4A1 here as well. I think the Stem Grenade should be dead. Oh, never mind. They didn't even use the uh, thing properly. That sucks. I need Drunken to use his M4 there, otherwise I'm in trouble. Okay. We are okay. We just need to get some more infantry in here, some more Chassapada. I'll go for a couple of half tracks as well. One M4A3, you have the better base accuracy. Fucking hell, of course it's just in time. <laughs> oh, luck is not on my side today. It really is not. At least we have the M4A1 coming up. Maybe that can make a difference. Currently holding the line with a bunch of one health squads, which is always fun. Unless that Stug's there, that's going to be annoying. I could just smoke that. There we go. We'll just smoke that. We'll just be safe. We're going to pop forwards here. We're going to aim and shoot. And then we're going to reverse. Okay. Job done. Thankfully. Oh my. I don't have any air force yet. I can start. Just try and get all these lander shoots and pin down if we can. Everyone go deal with that half track, it's causing us issues. Go on, armored rifles. There you go. Pick them up. And then when that lander shoots them pinned down, we can make them all surrender, which is the plan. There we go. And four squads gone. Just how we like it. Let's get some AT guns in here to cover that off. You can either have aircraft or ground, not both. Carried away, sir. On track, les fleurs. We are getting the advantage at the moment, just about. Get these M4A3s further up. 
Hmm. I don't really have any cover I can use. This sucks. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll continue through here with the SES Chasset Battle. Uh, move forwards, my AA. I need some more infantry. I could set up like an AAT sort of thing here just to cover the road. Or I could maybe go a bit more aggressive. Or oh, the M7 actually killed the Panther. So that's, got, that's something. Oh, that's going to be a bomber hitting my chassis of Pada, unfortunately. I can probably keep them alive with the M4A 376s, but. There we go. We do all have our own problems, unfortunately. And as much as I would love to have all of my Air Force, I cannot quite afford it right now. I do have the jet bear here, so that's good. Uh, we can bring in, yeah, let's bring in the Tempest now. I think it's probably worth it if we're going to be going for a dogfight. Unfortunately, the C5s just suck. Simple as that. Oh, I can't fight that anyway. I am out of here. <laughs> Buy another Tempest, we'll start to get like an Air Force online. Um, let's just unload these guys and uh, wheel them into positions. Actually, let's just reload that one. If it wants to, I mean, I don't know what it's doing. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'll have that one come over here and unload. How do I not have line of sight there? It's really tragic. Okay, whatever. Um, we need to find out whatever's in here and kill that. But for now, let's just drive on through. We can have one go to here, we can have one push through here. Okay, well that's that one dead. I'm going to need another M4A3. Maybe eventually we'll get the job done there. I'm going to have to bring one of these back. But we'll unload that where it is. And we'll have the half track, like attack move back. What was that then? It was a Panzer IV and a Pac-39 that got the better of two of my M4A 376s. I guess one of them was already pinned due to the bombing strikes, but... That's not good. At all. And I would come in with this fight, but again, there's no point because it's already lost. Ready, sir. Everybody out. Yes, sir. Ready to engage. Oh, did my half track die? It did. Unfortunately. Okay, cool. Let's open up the salient again. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Here comes a bombing strike. Uh, we do have quite a lot of aircraft that we can use. Oh, the Focke-Wulf actually got shot down in the end. So that's nice. My KD for this game, though, is going to be dreadful. 
I don't think we're going to win, no. We don't have the... Uh, Don't have the lead at the moment. I think Ginger should be able to attack that side. Should be fine. Okay, my half track's still good. Uh, those looks are coming back though. Okay, two Fock Wolves. Yeah, that's one down. And that's the second one down. One more kill. Attacking. Down. Now we get a third one down, hopefully. I was going to do the bomber trick. What a joke. Uh, let's try and turn in on this Focke Wolf. Unfortunately, the Focke Wolves are pretty, pretty sharp on their turning. Oh, I managed to get it over AA. That's good. Let's come around the corner, engage this before it gets hit. You know, whatever, we'll just rocket it anyway because pretty dumb. <laughs> Let's rocket these guys as well. Well, that's one looks dead. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Yes. I'm gonna reload that M5 gun. Move its position. Maybe I can get it up to here. I pass move to here and then go like so. <laughs> we are actually surviving with like minimal things here, which is kind of crazy. I'm surprised how badly my M4A3s have done in this game for me though. It really does suck. Let's bring in a bombing strike. <laughs> Keep playing with him. Oh, <laughs> not in time. Damn it. <laughs> Helped him out there with that one. Alright, we need command here and here. Why am I bringing in command when I have SES Grouper? I don't know if I should move the Shag Panzer forwards. I don't think I should. Go on, Sherman 5, win that. Oh, or don't. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, that got taken out. My push has faltered. I don't have anything to push there. I mean, Drunken King could probably go with the old uh, Humber Mark III, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure otherwise. So maybe try and take out this Falker Wolf. Goes a bit deep, which I think it will be. Yeah, we got it. Perfect. We're starting to take down some of these fighters, remove some of this air supremacy, but the game's nearly finished. It's like four minutes left. So this half track, I think I'm just going to bring to the left side and tell it to zoom up there. Target neutralized. 
Oh, unfortunately, that Humber map did get taken out. Go on, Pack 38. One more shot and you pin it down. Oh, no. Hmm. Maybe it's time for a bombing strike. Bombing strike win that engagement? I don't know what happened. Oh, I think that was here. Maybe Panzer got better. Oh, my pack's now dead. Bad times. We only need a plus one for like a couple minutes and we win. Double. <laughs> what a joke. Go on, SES Grouper. There you go. Job done. Find me some ground, boys. Find me some ground. You can't kill all these half tracks. that one dead. <laughs> come on, come on. Keep going. <laughs> Kill that AT gun. Okay, good. Now you can continue. <laughs> we just need a plus one. Uh, let me just pick up these guys, actually. Maybe we can get rid of that Stug 3. Oh, never mind. I'm fresh to just go aggressive here. Ready, Come on, we can make it with a couple of half tracks. Oh no. <laughs> Tragic. Fortunately, wasn't shooting at the one with the old units in it, but that's going to set us back quite a bit. Damn it. that. Let's kill this half track. Maybe that will give us some ground. Yes, sir. Keep moving forwards here. <laughs> Definitely infantry there. <laughs> oh, there's also an AT gun. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> it's going to be a draw after all this. 15 seconds left. That first part on the right just like screwed us over for the rest of the game, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, I guess we should have seen it coming, um, but it was a great game, absolutely fantastic game. My KD is going to be god awful. And look at that, we leveled up. Only 41,716 XP needed until the next level. <laughs> 2,720 kills to 3,215 losses. Yeah, unfortunately we just couldn't really get the traction on the ground. Um, I think I made quite a few mistakes, especially with how I engaged uh, my tanks, especially against the Panzer IV. The Panzer IV killing like two of the M4A 376s. That shouldn't happen. Um, the other thing is the like M4A1. I guess it did manage to kill off one of the Panzer IVs, but yeah, there was just like, I feel like a lot more I could have done on the ground. Maybe I was lacking the recon late game. 
there's quite a few mistakes uh, throughout that one. The Panzer did manage to help hold that right side, but after that, it kind of came up against a brick wall when those, those Panthers arrived. I think I ended up losing it. I must have ended up losing it because it wasn't there anymore, <laughs> I think. Uh, pack 40 took out two Sturm Grenadiers. That's pretty good. And those STKFZ 251s and the Flampanzer. But uh, yeah, early on, we didn't really find many kills. The two inch mortar took out the pack 38. So, so many Panzer twos. Looks like. Uh, Looks like Aurora focuses on having all of those on his division. So that, that was a little bit of a problem. My Tempest did get the better of the Focke Wolves over time, which was one point where we made back quite a few points because those Tempests were still alive at the end of the game and they found the kills onto the Focke Wolves. Maybe investing into Air Force earlier on would have been a good idea to help out Lau on the left, left side. But with how badly my own ground forces was going... I couldn't really afford to take a bunch of aircraft until the very late game there. And uh, it seemed like they just had enough bombers to stop me doing anything uh, throughout the rest of the game. Which is something that happens when the Festung isn't under much pressure. So, yeah. Difficult game. But uh, a, a very enjoyable one, honestly. It was fr quite frustrating at points, don't get me wrong. But um, when luck does not fall in your favour, there is not much you can do. Um, I wouldn't put that completely down to luck, but there were certainly engagements in there that made me frustrated due to luck, which is what I meant. Uh, either way, uh, yeah, very strong. Not really a strong game, but uh, a fun game and a good game for you guys, hopefully, to watch. And I'm sure you guys can pick apart what I did in the comments. I look forward to looking to what you have to say. Like I mentioned, I think lack of recon after the initial saboteurs was probably one one place I let myself down a bit. And just like those tank engagements is just damn awful for the most part. Yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.